hearing from one of the Harbor Center shop owners on their decision to leave that waterfront location. It was announced yesterday that the three stores that made up the shops at Harbor Center would vacate their satellite locations by the end of September. Channel 2's Erica Brecker shares some insight into why things didn't work out. They really wanted to showcase local businesses. It was a great idea. Good intentions that didn't work out. With the growth of Canal Side, there was hope that increased foot traffic on the water would translate to increased traffic at the Harbor Center shops. For Clayton's, a local toy store that survived 101 years in Williamsville, could not survive downtown. You're not going to buy toys and then bring them to a concert at Canal Side. The owner of Fowler's Chocolates expressed doubt about its Harbor Center location a year ago. Sometime after, Modern Nostalgia closed its waterfront doors. Now the three remaining shops are all set to close at the end of September. We just weren't getting the foot traffic. I mean, for us it was kind of a wash. It was a mutual decision between all of the shops and Harbor Center to just kind of call it quits. Whether or not some subconscious physical barriers like the train tracks or the Skyway stopped people from going that far is unclear, but some feel design plays a part. It would have been nice to have a door that went right out to Main Street there. Would have been nice if the train stopped there. Uh, you could say it was because of the fencing around Canal Side or the huge tent that kind of blocked the view of us. But really, I think the problem is that people just aren't ready to shop downtown yet. They just don't think of it as a place to go shopping. Harbor Center would not elaborate on why the stores were leaving, but a spokesperson wrote simply by statement, we are having ongoing discussions with several potential tenants and hope to soon unveil new retail offerings that will join the healthy scratch in continuing to enhance the Canal Side District at the shops at Harbor Center. The Healthy Scratch, of course, is the new food store run by Jesse and Kelly Pagula inside their parents' building. Now, perhaps this poll presented to the public also presents some insight in answering a question I presented about if you knew the retail shops next to the train were even there. Starting from the bottom up, nearly 50% said no, what shops? And then if you move all the way up to the top there, only a mere 12% said that yes, they knew about them and yes, they shopped them. So that could be telling too. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.